Hi everyone, Lisa here for the Graphics Fairy, or maybe I should say bonjour because we are heading to Paris today. It's the first week of our new tag team and I'm happy to be first up at bat. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a beautiful tag inspired by springtime in Paris because I'm really looking forward to spring and I really miss traveling. So I wanted to combine the two and make use of all of the beautiful French ephemera from the Graphics Fairy sites. So let's go ahead and get started. First, let me show you the ephemera that I have chosen for this project. Um, you will also need a either a plain shipping tag, a large size one, or you can make one. And I showed you last week how to do that out of a manila folder. And there's a free printable linked there too, so that you can um, create a template and then just trace and cut out your tag. Okay, so here are the images that I printed off to use. This one is from the French newspapers and ephemera bundle, and I printed this out at full size. And then I have this um, beautiful French script, and this is from the French ephemera bundle. And I've also printed this out at full size. Oh, these are all from the premium membership site today, but you can find equivalent images over on the free blog as well. So um, anyone can make this project. This is a photo of the Eiffel Tower and it's from the Vintage Paris Bundle. And I printed this out at 40%. So I sized it down a little. This is from the Mini Ephemera Pieces Bundle also printed at 40%. This image is from the Jane Austen Embroidery Bundle, printed at 40%. The little stamp is from the Mini French Ephemera Bundle, printed at 30%. And last but not least, the Du Coin de Rue. My French is terrible, but um, I love this image. It's so pretty, I love any kind of vintage typography. And this was really my starting point for the whole project. It's from the mini French ephemera bundle and I printed that out at 30%. So I went ahead and cut all of those out in order to save time. So let me get my mat here for the gluing. And I'm just gonna get my tag here. And we'll start with this French tag and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the top of it off. And then I cut out the little circle, the little um, hole reinforcer, I think you call that. And I did that ahead of time. So here is that. And then this part I'm gonna use on the back for um, some journaling space. So, so that's ready to go. And then here is the, um, beautiful French ephemera piece. And I think I'll go ahead and distress ink that a little bit, just around the edges. And I'm gonna be adding an embossed stamp to this, this guy. Um, if you remember a couple videos ago, I showed you this wonderful stamp set that I inherited from my grandfather. I'm gonna be using a pointy finger stamp for this. And here it is. Um, if you don't happen to have a pointy finger stamp, there are pointy finger images on the Graphics Fairy sites. You could print one out on some vellum and um, then cut it out and glue it down on top of this image. And it would give you a very similar look. You can also buy these. I looked online for under, well under 10 US dollars you can buy a little rubber pointing finger stamp. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is open up the embossing powder. And then here is the embossing ink pad. If you haven't tried embossing yet, I highly suggest that you give it a try. It really is fun in it. It just adds another like little dimension to your projects. I like there to be a little bit of um, depth or three something 3D in my design. So I hope that you'll give this a try if you have never done it before. So what we're gonna do is take the stamp and just 
push it, push it down on the stamp pad. And then I'm gonna stamp the image kind of here near the bottom. I rock it back and forth gently a little bit. And then I'm gonna put the powder just really generously all over that. You can always pour this excess back in the little pot so that you don't waste any of it. All right, here we go. Oh, that's good, I like it. I like to knock off a little bit of the excess, but you can leave some of that on. It will kind of add almost like little messy dots to it. All right, and now let me put a little scrap down. And this is the heat gun tool that comes with the embossing kit. And I'm just gonna hit this for a minute and it will kind of melt that powder. And you'll see at the end, it kind of gives it an embossed look um, and a little raised surface. So here we go. Okay, let's see if you could see um, the surface there. It gives it kind of a shiny look as if it had been um, printed. And I like the way that turned out. So that step is done. And I'll just let that dry for a minute. It really doesn't take long at all to dry. Let me go ahead and clean up this powder a little bit. I always like to try to save as much as I can and get it back in the pot. Okay, so now for the top of the tag, I'm going to use the beautiful magazine or newspaper page, love it. Okay, so let's just put this over the top. I'm gonna decide, um, I think I want to do this. Not the giant print, but the kind of medium sized print. And I'll just trace over that, trace around the top with a pencil. We're only gonna be having a little bit of this show at the top, so. And I'm gonna actually tear it, I think. So let me go ahead and cut this out. For right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it right across because we're gonna be adding this French script below. So, so I'm going to line that up and then I'm gonna put the tag on top and I'll trace around this um, script as well. All right. And I'll just trim this. All right. That's our second piece. And then we have the um, Eiffel Tower photo. And we have this guy, which should be dry now. Let's see. Yeah, he's dry now. Let's see if you can see that. And I'm going to cut the stamp. Now, um, I printed out this stamp, but then I left a big area of um, white space. And I'm gonna, just gonna trim that with these um, scalloped shears. I've shown you this before. If you have been on our channel before, you've seen this. So I'm just gonna allow a little of the white to stay around the stamp. It gives it a pretty authentic looking stamp feel. Try to even that up a little bit. There. Super cute. Okay, so that guy is gonna go on it. And I did go ahead and already cut out the rose. I just fussy cut that very close to the edge. And I did take the time to cut out the little white spaces in between the leaves. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is glue down this 
um, beautiful script paper. And I'm going to be using this um, glue runner, but you could use also just regular glue, Mod Podge, a glue stick, any, anything will work. I'm just going to go around the edge with it. So that's your first layer there. Okay, and then we have the um, top piece. What did I do with that? Here it is. So I want to go ahead and um, tear this, but first let me lay out. I'm gonna do the um, Eiffel Tower like this, and I want it to be a little bit off center, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of fold that until I get everything placed before, you know, so I'm not gonna make any cuts yet. I'm just gonna fold it, that way I can change it if I don't like the way it is working. And then this guy, I think I'll put at the very bottom. And I'm also going to fold that one, I think. So then this will be at the top. And I think I will I think I'll tear the top of the Eiffel Tower picture um, so that I have a torn edge there where it meets the type. And then the rows, I think I will glue down here. And I, I think I'll also extend that a little off the edge, but I do want the whole word words there to show. So I'm just gonna do it. I think like that. And I like to just go ahead and get everything laid out in advance before I start the gluing. And then the stamp can go, you know, maybe right here and the little hole reinforcer will go at the top and then I'll punch the hole. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, make my cuts now where the folds are. So let's do that. And this one, get rid of those extra pieces, try to work tidy, which is kind of against my nature, but I try. And here, here is the distress ink. I think I'll go ahead and just give that a little distress ink too. Perfect. Okay, and now we're almost done. We're ready to start gluing. Um, like I said though, oh, I forgot. I do wanna tear this top. So I'm just gonna really small little piece because I don't wanna lose any of the image. So I've torn that off. Now, let me just dress ink that edge. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to glue the rest of these down. I think these will make a nice addition to a junk journal or also a nice little gift tag or you could um, use it as a bookmark. Let's get this guy lined up. All right. And then let's just put the little hole reinforcer on and get some glue on there. This is um, an AdTech permanent bond glue rudder. Line that up carefully in the middle. That looks good. I'm gonna press it down and I'll go ahead and um, punch the hole now with just a single hole punch. And this is pretty easy to line up right in the center. And give it a punch. Okay. So now we can glue down our Eiffel Tower. And we'll just 
align that on the right side of the tag. You want to make sure you leave enough space at the bottom for that, that wonderful pointy finger image. So let's go ahead and get some glue on him. And I'm going to put him right here at the bottom. Oops. You do have a little time to work with this glue there. All right. So next we can add the, um, the rose. We're nearly there. Just get some glue on that. I think my runner died. Hold on one second. I'm going to go grab another one. Okay, let me take this opportunity to show you that you can refill these things. Let's see. You open it from here. This whole middle part pops out and you can throw that away. And then here's a refill. wound up tightly. There we go. And then you just drop it in place. Make sure the little tape thing is coming out and just click it shut. And then you can um, just start to advance it and you can feel where it starts to get sticky. So I'll just get some of that on the flower. And now I'm going to put the flower right here in the excess. I'm just going to uh, cut off once I have it arranged how I like it. Okay. I'm going to cut that. All right. Now let's see. There's just one step left and it's the little stamp. I'm going to go ahead and glue that. And where do you think that should go? I'm kind of thinking maybe right here. And there it is. And then I have this really pretty um, French stripe ribbon that I thought I would add. So I'm going to go ahead and what I like to do is before I cut it, I just kind of fold about six, well, it would be like 12 inches, and then I fold that in half. And scrunch it down. Pop it through the hole. And thread the tails through. And then when I'm happy with it, you know, the length and everything, then I go ahead and cut the ribbon. Because many, many times I've cut the ribbon and then it's not right. I had to cut another piece of ribbon. It's just wasteful. This is, this has worked out much better for me. All right. So then I'm going to cut the tails at an angle. Okay. Voila. I think it's really nice. I hope that you guys like this idea and you give it a try. Um, it was really fun to put together and I'll put the links below to the bundles. Oh yeah. And then you can, um, you can just glue this on the back. You could glue some more flowers or ephemera if you like, but I think it's quite pretty and it really makes me want to, uh, really makes me wish I was going to Paris, but it's not in the cards right now. We're getting snow tomorrow, so I can really, really look forward to spring. So um, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have any questions, put them below. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button if you want to get notifications whenever we post a new video. Oh, I almost forgot. If you would like to tag along 
and create a tag of your own, you can mail it in to us and we will pick our favorites and feature them once a month. So please send in your projects. We are really excited. We can't wait to see what everyone makes. And I think it'll be really fun to share and we can all get new ideas from it. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.